Win a Pageant, Episode 79. I created this step-by-step -step process after training thousands of women across the U.S. to win. Now you can have access to these winning strategies when you join me every Wednesday. Let's win a pageant. Hey girl, welcome to another Win a Pageant podcast. I'm your coach, Alicia Darby. Today, I'm going to teach you what it means to be the leader in your interview room. Now, as a teen and a young adult, we are surrounded by people telling us what to do. They're setting boundaries. They're creating standards. They're delivering prompts that we respond to. They lead us, okay? They're like our teachers that lead us in school, our parents who kind of take control of the home, maybe the RA who's the one that enforces the rules in the dorm rooms, your coach. When you show up for practice, your coach is giving you the drills that you're going to do that day at volleyball practice. Miss Gretchen is the one who leads your dance rehearsals, even down to your pageant director during pageant week, is the one that's telling you where to be and when to be there all week long. So it's no surprise that when you finally walk into your interview, you are naturally expecting that the judges are going to lead you through that entire process. Do not do that, okay? This is where it all goes wrong. The judges are not the leaders of the interview room. They are looking for the leader among all of the contestants. And if you expect them to lead, then they're not going to see you as their leader. And so they're just going to see you as another sheep in the herd. And they're just going to, okay, next, next, next. They're looking for the girl that has the strongest leadership characteristics. In today's episode, I'm going to break down two qualities of leadership that you can employ in your interview room in order to maintain control and to lead your interview. So here's the mantra that I want you to use. I am the leader. I set the pace and direction. Say it out loud with me right now. I am the leader. I set the pace and direction. I am the leader. I set the pace and direction. I am the... Okay, you get the idea. <laughs> you are the leader. You are going to set the pace and the direction. Okay, now pace is the rhythm and the speed that something moves. Okay, if you speed up, the pace speeds up. And if you slow down, the pace will slow down. Okay? Direction is the path that it follows. Okay, so where is it going? That's direction of the interview. Your job is to control both. I want to explain to you a little bit about what this means and how to do it. Okay? The best example that I have of pace is when I was studying to do on-camera hosting in Los Angeles. I was being trained to use a teleprompter. And the way a teleprompter works is a script is loaded into the machine and it sits just above the camera. So as my eyes are reading the script, it moves along and each time it reveals the next line and the next line, usually there are about three lines at a time and it's really only a couple of phrases that you see at any given time. Now, my very first try at the teleprompter was absolutely hilarious and only hilarious in retrospect. It was really stressful in the moment. <laughs> so I began reading the script, you know, phrase by phrase by phrase. And as I'm reading, it's scrolling through and scrolling through. And I was getting excited because I'm like in front of the camera and I'm like kind of nervous and stuff. So I started reading kind of quickly and then quicker. And I noticed that the teleprompter was moving even faster. And so suddenly the teleprompter was moving into speed so fast I couldn't even keep up. And I was jumping over words and I was skipping all for It was like a total disaster. So, <laughs> so then after the practice, my coach explained to me, hey, listen, the guy controlling the teleprompter is going to go at the speed that you go. So he is trying to keep up with you. And I was like, what? Nuh uh I'm trying to keep up with the teleprompter. What happened was the teleprompter person that was, that was rolling it had noticed that I was going faster. And so he was trying to match my pace. And since I wasn't slowing down, he wasn't slowing down. <laughs> the only way to slow down the tel teleprompter is by speaking slower myself. This is exactly what happens in the interview room. When you get nervous, you start to speed up a little bit, and it feels like you just hopped on like a speeding locomotive or one of those merry-go-rounds that just keeps going faster and faster and faster, and you just cannot get off. When you're in that moment, you've got to take a deep breath, and you have to remind yourself that you are controlling the pace. If it starts going faster than you'd like, slow down. If it feels a little sleepy, then inject a little energy. Get those people going, okay? 
The best tool that you can use to do this is your voice. Using your vocal inflection will control the pace. So long pauses are particularly useful when you need to slow down. And talking at just slightly faster pace adds a little bit of energy to your words and a pace to the room. So you see, I'm giving you an example right there of how this can be done. But you've got to remember that you're in control. So they are going to feed off of your energy. And if you take it into this speedy, speedy Gonzales kind of place, they're going to just keep right on going with you, okay? And if you feel like you need things to slow down a little bit, you want them to take you a little bit more seriously, or you have something sad to share, you're going to pull it back a little bit because you set the pace. Now, the second thing that you control, and this is what they are expecting you to control as the leader, is the direction of the interview. Now, they do not know everything that you want to tell them. So when you walk in a room, you I know that you know what you want to tell them. Like you're hoping they ask you this. You're hoping they ask you that. You're hoping you can share this story, okay? Do not rely on them to ask you the right questions. Instead, I want you to come ready with a handful of answers that you want to share. And then take responsibility for sliding them in there. Take charge of like, okay, here are the things I know that they need to know about me. This is really in my best interest. And then feed them those things, okay? Now, let's say that they are heading in a direction that is not going to serve you. Your job is to point them in a new direction. Because leaders, like you in your interview, leaders are the ones that create the boundaries. So let them know if they cross a boundary. Get them back on track. Let them know what is important to you. You do this simply by directing the conversation. Now, you're already better at this than you probably think that you are. (laughs) Remember a time when you may have tried to avoid a difficult conversation with your best friend? You were probably great at redirecting the conversation then. Am I right? So how about the time that maybe someone brings up some negative gossip about somebody that you love? You should be quick to correct them and get them on a positive path and focus on the good. You are the leader. You set the pace and the direction. And that, my dear, is how you win a pageant. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. I want to let you know about a special opportunity next weekend. So October 29th, this is 2016. So if it's already passed, then I'm sorry you missed it. You got to hang on for the next one. But I'm going to be hosting a pageant interview master class. And I host this on Facebook Live from our page. If you would love to join me to learn more about pageant interview, then go to this website to get all the details. It's interview.winapageant.com. There you can get the free workbook that goes with the class and you can learn more about where and when this is all taking place. Again, it's interview.winapageant.com. I can't wait to see you live in the Pageant Interview Masterclass. See you then. Hey there, I'm Alicia Darby and I just want to say thank you so much for watching that last video. If you totally loved it and got something from it, would you just click subscribe right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel? Hey, I am here for you and I've got so many more trainings and videos for you. In fact, this one would be a really great one to watch next. Or if that topic doesn't interest you, then try this one. It's my most recent video training. So I think both of these would be really great for you. Thank you again so much for subscribing. I am honored to be your coach. I'll see you again soon.